Hi, Fadi is here again and in this tutorial I will show you how to set up your rendering in Revit. So to render uh, your images in Revit or your shots in Revit, you have to create a camera and you will get uh, a 3D view like that. Uh, now uh, you can go to a view and you can see the render here. But before that you have to click here on the uh, crop view and to see the size of the this crop view so you will get this this will give you the dimension of the crop view that you have you can change but you have to go to scale and if you change this for example for for 100 millimeter this one will change automatically in order to uh, increase the size or something like that but you will reserve the proportions so as you see when I change for example to 600 millimeter and apply this height will change automatically in order to preserve the proportion uh, of the 3d view but it will extend the crop size and if you change also the height for example to 2 millimeter 200 millimeter also it will have more and more for your review so uh, this is up to you I will return it back for example I think it's 300 with that in order to have this crop view maybe we can change let's change from here to 310 for example to include also the other uh, from here but you have to put to scale here and uh, give also some dimension here in order to have your uh, crop view you can also extend from here to control your crop view so this is the view this is not important just to show you how to control the view that you have to render now to render you can go to render from a view to render or the abbreviation is rr you can press rr and you will get this window now uh, we have the render bottom here but we will uh, return to it back after we setting all the settings here the first thing is the quality so you have draft medium high best custom and edit uh, I prefer usually to use high in order to have a nice uh, render shot but you can go to best but the difference between these are not too much so I prefer to go with high for the quality now for the resolution you have the screen and the printer if you want to increase the pixels or something like that you can go to printer and choose uh, more and more uh, resolution but it will increase the time of render so I will leave it to screen in this tutorial for the lighting you can see that I have four ex three for exterior and three for interior one with Sun only and one with Sun and artificial and one with artificial only for the night rendering and for the interior the same so we don't have any uh, rend uh, artificial uh, lighting here so I will go with Sun only and you can here set up the setting of the Sun so for example this will give you the uh, let's see the, the, the time that you have in the uh, in the location that you specified for example I have my sister here with the date and the time if I change it for example to any other uh, the time it will change the sun setting here as you see for the shadows and it will take the sun settings from the lighting here also you can use single day or something like that but in rendering it will take the still with the date and the time and if I press ok it will take this and for the background you can determine the background that you want uh, maybe you can uh, we have no clouds very few clouds few clouds cloudly very cloudly and color and image and transparent 
so this is up to you you can use color and if you want to change the color you can use a green or any color and change it uh, for example the green as a screen green screen in the Photoshop and the post production uh, but uh, I prefer also you can upload an image for example if you have an image for the sky or something like that about the background of your uh, shot uh, you can use an image but let's go with a few clouds I think it is good here and also here you have adjust exposure so you can go to adjust exposure but I don't recommend you to play with that lift it as it is default because this is for uh, maybe after you render your shot you can uh, change the exposure and the saturation and the shadows and others so once okay you can hit render and it will start now rendering your view using the mentor ray in uh, rivet and I will uh, now accelerate the process to see the uh, result I think here we have rendering you can click and see the result now you can also uh, export it as an image and go to Photoshop make some post production and enhance the uh, the productivity or the the the, the quality of this image also I will show you if you have now this image or or you have the 3d view you can also export it as an image and go and render it with uh, AI platform so I think this one yes this one let's take it as it was and compare the result between the AI and the render of Revit so I will go to image and export it as an image let's go to zoom and to 100 let's take the high resolution not important but to take the details and let's go with documents let's change the name because I have export it let's go with one for example and click ok to export this image to go to the so once finished i will go to the website which is a promi ai.pro and we have multiple things to choose from there but i will go with sketch rendering because the image is uh, as a sketch i we deal with it so once you click here you can see some of the uh, rendering shots that you ha that was created by, uh, by other users uh, for example interior design and floor plans 3d views from sketches was created so I will go now uh, to upload our image so I will go where we have saved it I think it was on the documents yes uh, with one yes this one and then click open and you can see this now the image that we have exported from Revit we can write a prompt uh, let, let's leave it empty now you can choose a reference image but I want to leave it now I will go with uh, let's say realistic and for the scene I will choose architecture maybe we can use as a public building I think that or a building you can choose public building or, or commercial building residential building anything you have to go with the precise and now let's create let's decrease the creativity but I want it to be like what I want you can even determine the uh, let's say the lighting you can choose the lighting that you want maybe cold lighting 
or anything uh, you want you can check and generate what you want let's go with cold lighting as a few cloud uh, and also let's generate one just one and click generate let's see what we, will it give to us as a generation and compare it with the rendering in Revit so if I go to back now to Revit and go to I don't know where is the there is the rendering here we have to go and see the render here this is the render from Revit and let's see what it will create to us it create to us something like that without any prompt without any uh, specification of that you can download it maybe full download and see the result and you can play with the lighting because we have played with the lighting it will give us this so this is the uh, video for today i wish that you are interested in that you can compare the result of from Revit and the uh, result from this website uh, maybe we can have more and more accurate rendering as we want but we have to specify that in the prompt and in the setting of this website that's all for today i wish that you are interested in this tutorial please like share and subscribe for more tutorials tutorials like these in the future see you and have a nice day